Introduce yourself. Council President Jamila Beasley from the Township of Irvington, New Jersey. Irvington? What you Irvington. doing up here in these thorns on a Thursday night? Well, I work in these I, I work in these thorns for the policy planning and redevelopment department. I'm a part of the economic development department. And this is one of our neighboring cities, so I support these storage. Right. So listen, I mean, what's going on? We're here at uh, Mayor Ted Green. You said it's his sixth business six season. Yeah. That's a long time, huh? It is. It was a beautiful event. Right, what did you think of the things he was talking about? And especially in terms of development, since you work in a policy plan development. Right, so because I work in a, um, that department, I see a lot of the development that's coming to me storing. But I thought it was a wonderful and amazing event. Um, I liked everything that Mayor Green talked about in reference to our youth, in reference to our seniors, in reference to our development, the parks. Everything he spoke about was phenomenal. All right, so listen, I want to ask you about this whole idea of the, the future and possibilities, right? Because if it can happen in these dorms, it can happen in Irvington, yeah? It can happen in Irvington, of course right. it can. And that's what we all should be working towards, the possibility of our future for our youth and our legacy that we're going to leave behind. All right, speaking of legacies, your dad is Evil Al Beasley. He a statue of him in front of the city in Irvington. Can everyone go down. So we talk about uh, the anniversary, I guess, was passing and just recently happened, yes? Yeah? Or his birthday? Was it the anniversary of his death or his birthday just recently passed? His birthday is in March. No, no, I was just saying, which one was his birthday just passed in March? March, yes, March 27th was his birthday. And I heard your brother uh, speak at the annual Dr. King uh, celebration about the legacy and about the connection. And you and I have talked in the past about what it means to be the daughter of Ebel Al Beasley. And, and, you know, I don't say the burden, but the honor of it as well. You know, that yeah. you guys have, you have something you need to do. And you have eyes on you and, you, you know, it's a standard. It's definitely some big shoes to fill, and um, I would never be able to fill his shoes. The only thing I can do is do what he's taught me, do what I've learned while growing up, and then being in his presence and pushing that forward to our youth. And that's what I do every day in the township of Irvington. Right. Did your daddy know you smoke cigars? Yeah, look at you. I, I, don't, know he would, I don't think he'd be approving of that, would he? Smoke a cigar, his baby girl. He would want his baby girl to be happy. <laughs> That's what he would want. Smoking cigars makes you happy? If that's what makes me happy, and it does. You sound like my dad now. Like something else he's smoking to make him happy. But I ain't, I ain't that's not even here no doubt. That, that was his main goal, is for me to be happy, do what I love, and be happy doing it. And that's gentlemen. what I am doing now. I'm representing the residents of the township of Irvington and doing my best to bring resources and a quality of life to the township. And carry on that Beasley family and tradition carry of on that tradition. And then one last thing, for anybody who was not here tonight at uh, Mayor Green's State of the City address, what would you want them to know about tonight? They missed a good event. They missed a phenomenal event. Mayor Green and the city of East Orange is doing great things. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jamila Beasley. You're welcome. I'm sorry, Councilwoman Beasley. Council I'm sorry, President. Council President Fred Beasley. My bad. Thank I've known you. you too long.